What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys my Max Rarity Goat deck and the progress I've made on it since the last video I made, which was a long time ago. You guys can go check that one out up there. We didn't have much Max Rarity, but we have improved it quite a bit since then. It's not complete. I'm going to show you guys what I have in here. I'm going to talk about what the best rarity is or the top rarity. We're going to try and figure out what this deck's worth. It might be in the title, so you guys might already know, but we can like piece it together and see because I really have no idea what it's worth right now because I haven't totaled up in like a really long time. So let's see what's in here. The giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away a few goat cards. We have a Sakuratsu Armor, Thunder Dragon from Metal Raiders, Heavy Storm from Metal Raiders, Rice Sinchi from LOD, and a Fiend Soul Dragon from LOD. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know if you guys play goat format, or if you have a goat format deck, you know, if you have ever thought about max rarity, stuff like that. All right, starting off, we have the extra deck. We're going to start with the triple Thousand Eyes Restrict. So I'm not maxed out here, as you can tell. We do have a first edition Thousand Eyes Restrict, which is probably one of the best options. You can either have this, or you can have the ultimate rare from the OCG from uh, Thousand Eyes Bible, I think the name is. So you could have that version. That version is really nice as well. So I have the first edition Pharaoh Servant for one. But then I also have a Master Collection, which is definitely not highest rarity. It's... It looks really nice in Secret Rare, which is the reason I have it right now, but I would probably like to have an Ultimate Rare instead. And then I have an Unlimited Pharaoh Servant version. So for it to be Max Rarity, I would probably want either three Pharaoh Servant or Pharaoh Servant, a couple Ultis, or like mixed up, you know, whatever, maybe all Ultis, something like that. Let me know what you guys would prefer for Thousand Eyes. So that's what I have right now. Next, I have Fiend Skull Dragon. I think pretty much Max Rarity for this is the first Ed LOD, and this is one that I've pulled. So it's like mint condition. I think that is about as good as you can get. Then I have a Dark Flare Knight. This one's first edition from Dark Crisis. I don't really know the condition. On it. I don't remember where this came from, but we have a Dark Flare Knight first edition. So that's probably the best. I can't think of anything that would be better. Next, we have a Reaper on the Nightmare. This one's unlimited, so obviously it will not be the best. First edition Pharaonic Guardian would be much better for this one. I think there's a Dark Revelation version as well. Then we have Dark Balter the Terrible. This guy is first edition from LOD, so this is the max rarity for him. Next is a Ryu Senshi first edition from LOD. I think I pulled this one. I can't remember if I pulled him, but I may have. Yeah, the centering on this guy's terrible, but first edition, so that's the highest rarity you're going to get for him. Next, we have a triple. We have a playset. We are almost maxed out here. We have Dark Blade the Dragonite. I have two first edition ultimate rares. We pulled one of them, and then we have an unlimited. So if, if I wanted to completely max it, and have played three of them, then the Dark Blade would have three. I doubt you really use three, though, in this. I'm not, I don't think you would. Then we have a Dark Fire Dragon. This is first edition from LOB. I actually did pull this card. It's actually gradable, so I'm probably going to end up grading it, but it's worth a decent amount compared to the Unlimited, and this is the highest rarity of this card. So that's it for the extra deck. So we can total up the value of the extra deck here, and then we're going to hop into the regular deck. First card we have is the Classic Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. This guy's not like minty. I think he's moderate play, so we'll have to take off some value for that. But Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning from Invasion of Chaos First Edition. There's also the Ultimate Rare version from the OCG people like. So those are a couple of your options for Blackluster Soldier. Master Collection looks really nice, but it is a lot cheaper in terms of value. So if you're looking at the highest value, this is probably the best option. But if you're looking at, you know, what you like the most or like Secret Rare being higher than Ultra Rare, then maybe you could say that. But I think that this would be considered the first. Next, we have uh, Chaos Sorcerers. We have two of these. These are Turbo Pack 2. These are the ultra rare version. There's also super rares from like Legendary Collection. There's the commons from Invasion of Chaos. So I think this is clearly the number one rarity, the highest rarity. Um, I'm not sure what the values are. I think they're like 150 or 200 each, which is a lot. But yeah, I would say these are definitely the number one go-to. And since these are a staple in almost all cha like Chaos decks, these are pretty valuable. Next, I have an Air Knight Parshath. I actually pulled this out of the first Legacy of Darkness 36, I think 36 pack box that we opened. And so it's mint condition, really nice first edition. There's a lot of versions of Air Knight, but this is definitely the go-to number one. So pretty nice card, definitely the go-to version. Next, we have a Zero Priest. I actually had an Unlimited in here, and then I realized, wait, haven't I pulled one of these? And I went and found it. I did pull it, so it's minty condition. I'm not sure. I think maybe a $20 card, definitely the number one version. There is a Hobby League version which some people really like, so that is really cool. I actually have a PSA 9 of that, so if I did want to put that in here, I could crack it out, put it in there. But I think this is probably the go-to first edition from Legacy of Darkness, so let me know in the comments what you guys think. Here's an interesting one, is Breaker the Magical Warrior. This is first edition Magician's Force, but there's also a TP7 version, which I own, and it's kind of a you know rivalry there, because this is first edition from Magician's Force, which is really rare, but then when you get to TP7, that's also a rare set, and pretty valuable as well. So I, I don't know, probably a toss up for those. 
Could be either one. Let me know what you guys think. I think First Edition Magician's Force has to win because it's First Edition from the set. You know, it's just a lot... I think it's a lot better than the, the tournament pack. The tournament pack is cool, though. I will give it that. So you guys let me know what you guys think on that one. Next, we have a Tribe Infecting Virus, first edition from Magician's Force. There's not many versions of this, so I think this is clearly the number one version because it's from Magician's Force, first edition. There is, like, some commons and then, like, Dark Revelation 1, I think, something like that. So this is definitely the go-to version. Next here, I think I definitely need the super rare version of Blade Knight because if you guys have seen House of Chance's recent video talking about the super rares, they're way more expensive now. Like, this guy is not very expensive in CT1 Secret Rare. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there was misprints where the Secret Rare was not on there. It was just a Super Rare foil. So those are worth quite a bit more than this one. So I need to get one of those if I'm going to max it out. I think I had one and I sold it. So it was like for like 10 bucks. So big mistake. But there we go. Secret Rare. That is pretty nice. DD Warrior Lady. Super Rare. And this is, I would say, I think the number one version. I'm trying to think if there's any other versions. Is there a hobby league of this? I'm not sure, but this is first edition from Dark Crisis. I think this is the go-to because it is from Dark Crisis, it's first edition, and I really can't think of any like major upgrades since then. I think they may have made it like an Ultra and, and Duel of Saga or something, but obviously this is going to beat out that version. Next we have something, we definitely have to upgrade these. So we have, speaking of Duel of Saga, we have two Tsukiyomis from Duel of Saga. These are very cheap, they're like a dollar each, so they're... They're not much at all, but I don't have the ultimate rare versions. I think they're in, are they in uh, Astral Packs? I think they're in an Astral Pack. So I need to get some ultimate rare Tsukiyomis to upgrade my deck. Right now I have the cheaper version. I do really like how these look. A lot of people don't like the Duelist Saga foil, but I honestly like it. I think it looks cool. So yeah, definitely got to upgrade those. We have Sangan First Edition. This guy, uh, I actually pulled from a Metal Raiders box, so he's, he's mint tea condition. He is a rare version though, so I'd say the higher rarity is probably the Retro Pack 1 version. I think it's Retro Pack 1. Um, there's definitely some foil versions that are probably better than this, that are old. But this guy is still worth quite a bit in First Edition Metal Raiders. So a solid a solid copy, but let me know what you guys think would be the better version of Sangan, or if that's the best. Then we have a Cyber Jar. This guy's from Magic Ruler. He's not in the best condition. Um, I, I probably have a better one somewhere, but I don't know. There's a Hobby League version, so that might be a better version to use. There's the ultimate rare from Duelist Pack Kaiba. That's probably better. So this guy's definitely not highest rarity, I would say. But still pretty cool to have first edition rare from Magic Ruler. Next we have a Spirit Reaper. This guy is super rare from Champion Pack 3. This is definitely highest rarity for this guy. He's pretty expensive. I think he's like 200 plus dollars. So I think this is definitely number one. This might be... Is this my moderate play version? Or is this the better version? I can't remember. I think I put the better version in, so... We have a nice near mint to mint, the one we pulled in the video. Go check that video out in Champion Pack 3 opening. Yeah, so definitely number one for Spirit Reaper there. Next, we have Magician of Faith, and see, one of them is Champion Pack 2, so it's number one rarity, worth, I think, like $500 now. I could be wrong, I was lost what I saw, but just going off TCG Player Low, which, by the way, is not always the best way. You guys can check out how to value cards right there, but just based off that, it's a very expensive card. So I have one of those. I actually have another one. It's PSA 10, so that's why I don't have a second copy. But I do have first edition Magician of Faith from Metal Raiders in the booster box we open. You guys can check that video out as well. But this is still a, like a $75 rare, which is still pretty good, but not doesn't compare to that. So I'll need to upgrade this Magician of Faith. Let me know your favorite versions of Magician of Faith below. Then we have Sinister Serpent. This guy's from Stairway to Destin Duel, the video game. So this is by far not the best rarity. There's a, like a fan favorite goat format version. It's like the, the False Bound Kingdom version. It's a different, it's from a different country. Their version had a Sinister Serpent in it. So it's super rare, it's super expensive. So I definitely don't have that one. This guy's worth a few bucks. That one's worth like 1500 bucks or something. I don't know, maybe more. So we'll definitely have to upgrade to that at some point if we want to completely max out. But right now we have this version. Our last monster is a Night Assailant. This is a super rare from Champion Pack 1. This guy is near mint to mint condition, so really good condition. Champion Pack 1 being super hard to pull, or super hard to find, and we open some of it there. So this guy is in really good condition, and I think this is definitely the number one version. Now we're moving into magic cards. We have Premature Burial, first edition from Pharaoh's Servant. This is the number one version. I don't think there's anything that, that competes with the original first edition Pharaoh's Servant version. So nice to have this guy. Next we have Heavy Storm. This one's unlimited. I do have a first edition, but I graded it. So we're going to have to upgrade this at some point. Maybe a near mint version of Metal Raiders first edition. 
I think there's a Hobby League, but I think uh, Metal Raiders definitely wins out. Next, we have a play set of Book of Moon. Some people don't even play play sets, usually two, though. But we do have two Champion Pack 1s. We pulled both of these. They're near mint to mint. Very expensive. Definitely the number one version of Book of Moon. There's a lot of versions, and this is number one. So those are fantastic. And then we have the Ultimate Rare version from OTS 13. So this one's newer. There's a lot of other versions. So I think this is a pretty solid one, maybe worth like 80 bucks. Doesn't compare to those Champion Packs, but maybe we'll upgrade this one day to a Champion Pack 1. But overall, pretty good set of Book of Moons. Next, we have probably my favorite pot of greed. I do like the super rare version. I think it's underrated. It looks really nice. That's what I used to have in this deck. Now we have first edition Duelist Pack Kai, but that ultimate rare looks really good. Let me know your favorite pot of greed. There's a lot of options. You could do first edition LOB as well. I have one of those. But yeah, this guy I think looks really good. I kind of like this version in my deck. Then we have a Snatch Steel first edition from Magic Ruler. I'm trying to think if there, there's a hobby league I think of this. I don't know if there's anything else. I think this is the best version for sure. Then we have one that there is a, lo a lot of decent versions, I think. So there's a ghost rare. So that, that makes it difficult. There's also an ultimate rare. So there's some really good versions. Then there's first edition magic ruler, which is the one I have. I think the ghost rare looks really cool. So I think that's a good option. The ultimate rare, not as good to me. I think this one looks better than that, but also pretty expensive. So a good option. So I'm going with Magic Ruler First Edition Mystical Space Typhoon. Let me know in the comments what you prefer or what I should use. But then we have a Delinquent Duo. This one's First Edition Magic Ruler as well. This guy I think is definitely number one. I think there's a like Legendary Collection Kaiba version, but that's not very expensive or anything. I think this is the number one version from Delinquent Duo, the First Edition Magic Ruler version. Then we have a play set of Metamorphosis. So two of them we did pull out of Champion Pack, so they're number one easily the most expensive versions so good options near mint to mint there then we have the common from pharaonic guardian which is only worth a few dollars but there isn't that many versions of it so it's really one of the better versions after the champion pack one so i think we did okay with that playset. we'll have to upgrade that eventually then we have a graceful charity there are not a lot of good options for graceful charity i think there's a retro pack one rare then there's the starter deck pegasus first edition super rare then there is the Secret Rare from Yugi's World. The reason I have this is I think it looks by far the best, and all of the options are not very expensive. The Rare, I think, is worth a lot from Retro Pack, but it's a Rare, so it's kind of like, eh, I kind of like this version more. Let me know what you guys would prefer. If I'm going to do max like value, I guess I would need to get the Rare, but I really like this version more. I think it looks really good. All right, we're getting down to the last few Magic cards. We have Nobleman of Cross Out. This one is not first edition, so I don't have a first edition version of this, apparently. So this would need to be upgraded. I think that's the best version. Nobleman Across Out, First Edition Pharaoh Servant. We have the Unlimited. Finally, we're ending with two Scapegoats. We don't have the highest rarity of either of these. I think Retro Pack 1 Ultra Rare is the most expensive. Right now, we have one Ultimate Rare. I thought I had another one. I think I graded it, maybe. And then the, I think, probably the best looking version, the Joey's World Secret Rare, I think looks really, really good. So those are two options that I have there, but we could definitely be upgraded to Retro Pack 1. Maybe we'll do that in the future. Now we're into our trap cards. We have a Mirror Force First Edition. This guy, I think, is like moderate play, so not in the best condition. We could upgrade it for sure. But really cool First Edition Metal Raiders. There's a lot of Mirror Force versions you can choose from. I think this is definitely the go-to, though, especially if you get like a faded version. That's really cool. Next, we have Sakuretsu Armor, both from Champion Pack 1. So these are definitely going to be the best versions. We both were pulled, so near mint to mint, great condition. So these are really nice cards, worth quite a bit. We have Ring of Destruction next, first edition Pharaonic Guardian. There's a couple versions. There's this version from the Secret Rare from Pharaonic Guardian. You can get the Ultimate Rare from Dual Spat Kaiba. I think there might be one other version, but I think this is my favorite. The Secret Rare looks fantastic on it. Ultimate Rare looks good, but this is my favorite for sure. Next, we have a first edition Torrential Tribute from Labyrinth of Nightmare. I think this is my favorite version overall. There is a Secret Rare version from Legendary Collection something. It looks really good as well, but I think this is definitely my favorite. Just look at that awesome looking... I don't know. I, it always looks like ice to me. It looks really, really cool. So I really like that version. And our final card is a Call of the Haunted First Edition from Pharaoh's Servant. Really nice, ultra rare version. I think there might be a Hobby League of this, but I think this has got to be the number one go-to version from Pharaoh's Servant. So let me know what you guys think. Finally, we have shown you guys the entire deck. We're going to put up the value on screen for everything in this deck and the extra deck. Try and show you guys what it was worth. So let me know what you guys think about the value of a crazy deck. Would you guys play a deck like this or would you just have it to admire or would you not even do that? You just sell it because it's just too expensive. Let me know what you think about the versions of the deck that I showed you. What should I replace? What should I put in to, for playability? Stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace.
Why can't it be? <gasps> Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh! 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 Oh!